everything ends up working out, sometimes even better than you can imagine. Remember this, when you're in a hard place or feel like you're being challenged the most, believe in where you're heading and take comfort in knowing some of the best days of your life haven't happened yet. If you have a lot to work through mentally, I find cleaning to be very therapeutic. So today, let's do some deep spring cleaning in my living room. I'm starting off by deep cleaning my living room rug. I'm going to give it a really good shampoo. I have a Bissell carpet cleaner and I use this Bissell pet shampoo to clean the carpet. I have a two-year-old son and a black lab, so it is in definite, desperate need of a good deep cleaning. going to vacuum the rug first to get up anything that needs to before running the carpet cleaner over it. Like I said, I have a black lab, which you can see her sitting here on the couch. Her name is Millie and she sheds like crazy. She spends a lot of time here in the living room, which is why I have a blanket on the couch too, because she does like to sit on the couch and I want to try to protect it as much as possible. She plays here all the time and so doesn't my son. So it is a very used, well-loved rug and needs a very good deep cleaning for spring. Now I'm deep cleaning the rug using this Bissell Pet Pro carpet cleaner. It works really well. It is kind of heavy, but with having a dog, we wanted to get something that was pretty heavy duty and this rug definitely needs it. It's kind of like a high pile rug. It's got like foam bottom too, which is really nice. So it's super nice to play with my son here on this carpet. It's very comfortable and I was a little nervous about how much it was going to soak the water, but it all ended up turning out perfectly fine and cleaned super well. My dog is highly annoyed that I'm doing all of this vacuuming and cleaning. She, as you could see earlier, attacks the vacuum and tries to make me stop vacuuming. Do you have a dog? Does your dog do the same thing? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to know. I'm doing this first thing in the morning so that the rug has plenty of time to dry throughout the day as we are in and out of the house and then this evening, my son, when he's home, he can play here with no problem at all. Allow me to introduce myself if you are new here to my channel. My name is Bridget. I am married to my husband, his name is Joe. We've been married for almost 10 years and have a two-year-old son. And as you saw, our beautiful black lab. We have lived here in this house for five years and it has been such a blessing to us. And I hope that it can be a blessing to all of you as you watch as well. I hope my channel brings lots of cleaning motivation, inspiration, and you leave here feeling like you've been cleaning with a friend. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to click on my video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'd be happy to help you. Next on my list is to vacuum the couch. Hi, a little video 
check in here. I am working on cleaning the couch. This couch is relatively new. We've had it, I don't know, not even that long. Um, and the material we got because of our dog, she's a black lab, and we thought that it having some black in it would be really good with having her. It wouldn't like show all of her fur or her hair all the time. But along the edges, it's kind of like pilling. So see all of that that's like coming up? We got this little depiller from Amazon. So I'm gonna try to use this to try to get up all of this and hopefully this works fine. Um, and I'm just not even sure how exactly to go about deep cleaning this couch. I, the couch we had previously, I used to throw all of the cushion co covers into the washing machine. It worked out fine, but it like changed the fabric at the same time. So I don't want to do that to this couch as we're hoping to have it for a decent amount of time. But with the dog and a two year old, I try my best to honestly just keep it covered as much as possible so they're not actually on the cushions. And then we just spot clean as things come up and they need to be spot clean. So that's where I'm at with the couch. So for today, I am going to just vacuum it and that should be okay. And I'm gonna to try to use this D pillar to take up some of this as well as the pillows are kind of like that too, like kind of pilly. These pillows came with the couch. It's very strange that that's happening, but hopefully this little guy, which I got from Amazon, will take care of that. worked it got up so much and the couch seems to be a lot smoother so I am happy about that this little tool is super cool too it does have like a port you could just charge it and I'm sure we'll find multiple uses for this now I'm going to vacuum underneath the couch cushions. I do keep up with this very regularly as well, so it wasn't that messy. I didn't find anything really surprising, although I did find Mr. Potato Head's hand that we were missing. So my son was very happy about that when I showed him we had all the pieces. So if you have not yet in a while, go ahead and take this time to vacuum underneath your couch cushions along with me. since this room is so big we have a lot of events here in this room like holidays for Thanksgiving we move this couch against this wall with the rug and then we set up tables in the middle of the room it's super cool and everybody can sit together we don't have to have like an adult table a kids table everybody can be in one room and then all the food we just leave on the island and in the kitchen and do it that way it makes it so much easier my husband does a few events in this room where he does the same thing he'll just move the couch 
Sometimes he'll split the couch into a couple couches and put them against the walls. And then he can set up tables in the middle. It's really fun. So this couch does get moved pretty often, so it's not really that dirty underneath. But I know for sure there are some of my son's toys under there that I definitely have to get. So I'm going to use this big long stick. It's got like a duster at the bottom. It's actually supposed to be for the baseboards, but I never use it for the baseboards. I like to get like down close to the baseboards and use a spray and really scrub them down when I clean them. So I'm going to just use this to get underneath the couch, see what we can pull out, and then we'll give it a dusting as well. As women, we have a lot on our minds all the time. There's so much going on every moment of the day, and we don't have what men have. If you've never heard of this, apparently men in their brains have a nothing box that they can just go to and literally think about absolutely nothing at all, which is kind of amazing, and we as women don't have the opportunity to think about nothing. You know, we have constant things playing in our heads, replaying, lists, things our kids need to do, work-related things, house-related things, just constant things in our heads at all times. For me, I work through this the best by cleaning. I encourage you, if you feel a little heavy or just overwhelmed, stressed out, have a lot on your mind, take some time and clean something in your house doesn't have to be anything huge maybe you have been putting off cleaning the stove or your carpets or your windows maybe there's a room you haven't cleaned in a while pick something a task do some cleaning i promise you are going to feel a lot lighter i clean a lot because i use it as my therapy I love to just get down, clean everything that I can or need to at the moment, and after I feel so much better. I feel like I've got a weight lifted off my shoulders. I've been able to mentally work through any challenges that I might be facing. I hope this encourages you and gives you motivation to do the same thing. Next, I'm dusting and vacuuming underneath these cabinets. The dust collected so much, I was very surprised to see how dusty under here really was. fireplace this fireplace is massive for me to even clean it I need to get up on a step stool and we have like random plants I don't do anything with those plants I am NOT a plant person they would all die on my watch I know they're succulents so they're not supposed to die some chargers and stuff and picture frames and a whole bunch of dust so let's get up here and give it a very good cleaning for spring.
thing that I want to tackle today are the windows and the baseboards. Tons of dog hair, fingerprints, dog all over. So there's five windows I need to do in here and I also need to do the sliding glass door. Here's our dog, Millie. It is so gross. It just gets like packed with dog hair and dust. And then she sits here all the time. I don't know why I can't get it to show. The lighting is bad, so it's not gonna pick up all of the marks that are on this door. But this door is so gross. To clean all the windows, I'm using the Sprayway Glass Cleaner. It is the most fun glass cleaner to use if you have not tried it out. It is a foaming glass cleaner, so it just is so satisfying to clean the windows with and makes the job so much faster. If you have not tried it out, go get some. I think I got mine at Walmart. I'm sure you can get it off Amazon. Any place has it. It is a great window cleaner. clean your windows don't forget to clean the inside of the window sill from the winter and the windows being all closed up it gets so dusty and dirty in the window sills it's kind of incredible how dirty they really are so I'm just going to vacuum up as much as I can then I'm just using a cleaning spray and a rag to clean out the rest of it I have seen a lot of people use um, 
steam cleaners for this as well. I don't have one, but it is on my list of a cleaning product to purchase. This that would be really helpful in this kind of project as well, especially these corners that like I can't get my fingers in. The steam cleaner would be super helpful for that. But if you have not in a long time cleaned your windows and your window sills, take the time to do that now as well. guys so much for clicking on my video and watching i appreciate all of your support this is going to be the last area in my living room that i tackle for my spring cleaning video today if you have not yet please subscribe i would love to have you join me i post new videos every tuesday and friday i hope to provide lots of cleaning motivation and that you leave here feeling like you've been cleaning with a friend